Well, I'm Malcolm Archer, a uh, horological conservator, and I've been working on this regulator clock uh, made by Benjamin Gray and Justin Bullimy. Uh, it's a very interesting clock. It's had various alterations and changes made to it um, by the Bullimys. Uh, it's a fascinating clock, not just because it's a regulator, but because of the complexity of the designs that have been built into this and their historical background. Um, the escapement is a kind of copy of a Harrison grasshopper escapement and then all of the, all of the um, pivots uh, are running on anti-friction rollers uh, which is the, the idea is to enable the power source to get to the escapement without too much interruption. Um, raises various questions um, about why the Williams wanted to include this into this clock and and again with the escapement and there's further research going into um, those sort of things. So it's a fascinating clock. Um, the work I've carried out really has been a complete disassembly and detailed photography and measurements of everything because there are one or two of these clocks in existence and we want to compare so we're really looking to see where this fits in historically with with the other clocks that's similar to this so i've taken measurements of almost everything uh, diameters of wheels size of these plates and uh, dial and um, as well as all the numbers of teeth and pinions that the clock has so we can compare uh, to the other clocks that are around. Um, so it's been taken apart, it's been cleaned, um, some minor adjustments made to the escape and one or two other areas and now it's partially reassembled, ready for the dial to go back on and the hands and to be reinstalled and to be, in this case, this clock is going to be running. Um, it's, it's a clock that's happy to run, it runs without too much maintenance required. Um, it just needs looking after and checking very carefully. Um, but yeah, it will run and function as, as it did at, uh, throughout most of its history.